Geo boards. They've been around for a long time. But what do you actually do with them? This is what a geo board looks like. If you're a parent and you've got children aged, say between about two to six, or if you're a teacher of children that age, these are fantastic. Super easy to make, and you get hours and hours of fine motor development out of them. Uh, a geo board. This is just a log. A log with some screws inserted into the log. The idea of this is you use things like loom bands, bobbles, rubber bands, and you stretch them around the screws. There's different ways of making geo boards. This one is made out of a big log with some nails hammered in. Very simple to make, it doesn't take long at all. It's got a little face on, so it's a bit like a hedgehog as well, which is quite cute. Any piece of random wood lying around can easily be turned into a geoboard. Just a little bit of MDF, uh, a few nails hammered in, job done. There are lots of things you can use to stretch on the loom bands. These are some of the simplest. Uh, a big coloured rubber band, great for stretching and making different shapes. Loom bands as well are fantastic for geoboards. And also you can use hair bobbles as well. And same, same idea. First way of using a geoboard, making shapes. Nice simple one this one. You try and make things like a triangle, rectangle, square. Great for fine motor and just thinking about shapes and counting the sides, all that kind of thing. Next is making patterns. For example, one green, purple. Green, purple, and just continue like that. Green, purple, green, purple, and continue. You can do a pattern in a line. For example, green, purple, green, purple, and just keep going. A bit like a multicolored pattern snake. Next is making pictures. For example, this house. All the good ones are things like rockets buildings, uh, you can do people, pretty much whatever you want. You'll always get shapes in it, there'll always be squares, triangles and different kind of shapes. Just a great exploration of shape. Next is adding. For example, three add two. You can do it something like this. Uh, three, three green, and then two purple. Very visual way of adding. You can really see what it is. It's two distinct colours combining and making one. Three out of two. Next is making either simple numbers or simple letters. This, for example, is number four. Great for fine motor and great for just thinking about the formation of the number. Next is symmetry. The idea of this is you have a centre line, something like this. You do some shapes one side of the line and you try and copy them on the other side. The easiest way to do it is to have the shapes touching each other. Like for example, square here, and next to it, the square here. And triangle, triangle here, and the triangle here. Uh, the harder way to do it is have a gap in the middle. But I'd start like this. Next is roll the dice, see what number you get, and put that number of bands onto the geo board. For example, roll this little wooden dice, I've got a two. Super simple counting activity. Can you put two bands onto the geo board? You can put them on any kind of shape you like. One, two. Next is shapes inside shapes. Let's take a look at that. The idea of this one is you have a small shape in the middle, for example, this small rectangle, and then you kind of build shapes out from it. So we have a larger rectangle, then a larger one. This is quite a small geo board, so we can just get three on. If you have a massive geo board, you get loads on. It's a great introduction to thinking about perimeter and area and thinking about the amount of space inside shapes. Next is adding. Let's take a look at this. Done a really simple addition uh, sentence here. Two, add two. Simple as that. Two one colour, two of another. Could be rectangles, could be triangles, whatever. Just a great way of exploring addition. You can do this with two dice. Roll two dice. See what you get, you know, three, add three, and put three of one colour on, three of another, and add them all up 
all together. Next is making silly shapes. Here's an example here. I've just got a, a band and I've stretched it around in all sorts of different ways. Uh, making as many sides as you can. Make it as silly as you possibly can. And then you can try and count the sides. How many sides have you got? You can make more sides. Just a great way of experimenting with shape. Next is you pick a shape and you make lots and lots of examples of that shape. For example here I've picked a triangle. Uh, I've got some very small simple triangles but lots of big ones as well. Right angle triangles, isosceles, scalene, all that kind of thing. So many different types of triangle. The children don't necessarily know that's what they're doing but they're just experimenting with simple shapes. Good luck with the geoboard activities. We've got a competition. All you need to do is send in a picture of your amazing geoboard activity and put in the comments. Your photo will be featured in our next video.